Okay, for this particular session, we are going to look into the access control floor. But for this particular access control floor, uh, I will actually need to use the OWAP ZAP. And I have already run my ZAP at the back here. Of course, as usual, after you have run your ZAP, you need to launch your web code and of course do a proper login using the ID that you have created earlier. Now, in this access control floor, there is two portions. We will start with the insecure direct object reference. And the first page or the first tab is just uh, some reading. I'll leave you to read on this. For the second tab, is just an authentication process. All right. And uh, you are already given the ID and password over here. So you can see the ID and password uh, itself. Okay, so there's nothing much to do here. Basically, just key in the ID and password. So, okay, so this is your user, and this is actually the password itself. All right, and that's it. So basically, you are now logged in as Tom, and. Uh, you are supposed to proceed you can also see the green color mark on the tab 2 then we move into your third tab now in this particular third tab sometimes we need to be able to identify uh, what data that is being sent and respond from the client and the server so what you need to do now is go to your Zap and activate the break. I'm now back at the web code and I will click the profile. Of course, the Zap is intercepting something over here. Okay, I'll just let you run. So you can see as you step forward, right, they are getting uh, response and request right, being break at any single time. Okay. Now the question here actually says beside the uh, two attributes. Okay, beside the two attribute, what else is actually uh, feasible? And if you look at the break over here, you can find that, let me just proceed on this. Okay, so at the break over here, you can see basically at the respond portion, you basically have a row Right up here, this is your row, and you got the user ID. All right, so you have your row, your user ID, you have your color, size, and name. But over here, you have your name, color, and size. So there is actually two attributes that is actually missing from the list, and these two attributes is actually your row and your user ID. So this row here and this user ID. So the difference is your row and your user ID. Right. And once you submit these two difference, you can see that they will give you a correct. Okay, you these two are these two attributes are not display right. user ID and row and that basically will finish up this third tab itself.